Let it go. Let it go. We constantly give away our Barbie campers. Hi, guys. Hi guys, it's Vess. Welcome back and welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I just wanted to talk about something that happened a couple weeks ago and it really made me realize a lot of things. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed down below. Break the button and hit the bell and like this video. Today's video is going to be about my sister's Barbie camper. So I have a little sister, her name is Valise. She is six years old. She's turning seven in March. She's so big. Many people who know my sister and you guys here on YouTube have seen her. She is very mature for her age. She's very honest. You're able to have full on conversations with her and be able to tell her like, hey, this happened, that happened, and this is why I'm upset. And she will understand and she'll even give you advice about whatever it is. So she's just very attentive. She's very grown for her age. She's not like a regular child. She's a cool child. <laughs> mean girl's reference. So when you tell her, hey, don't do that shit. She knows what not to do and she understands why you're saying that. When this happened a couple weeks ago with my sister, it really made me take a step back and look at myself. So let me tell you guys what happened. Since my sister was three years old, she's been begging for this toy. Like begging every year. I want a Barbie camper. I want a Barbie camper. I want a Barbie camper. And she's not the type of kid to beg for something and like throw a tantrum what? out of nowhere. Like, she's not like that. She'll ask for things, but she knows that she might not get it and she's okay with it. But she just makes it known that she wants it. I remember one time, this is a quick side story. I remember one time when she was younger, I took her, she was like two years old and I was like, 15 but i took her all around to different stores to different places to check different things out and i had her walking for mad long she just kept saying things to me like look at the store look at the store look at the store and i'm like okay and i taught her that day that i don't have to buy you anything i tapped her little ass on the shoulder and i said do i have to buy you something she was like no i'm like do i have to buy you something no. You coming out with us is a good enough gift. We're gonna buy you something, but just be patient. Now she's six and when we go out, she does not ask for anything. We just saw her from a very young age that you don't ask for things and throwing tantrums is not cool. We, that's not what we do. Since she was three years old, she just begged and begged and begged for this. And that was what she really wanted. It was on every single one of her Christmas list. It was on her birthday list. It was on every list you could make. This year was her sixth birthday and this Barbie camper is around a hundred dollars and none of us really made moves on buying it. By the way, you guys liked my new earring, I changed it. None of us really made any moves on buying her this Barbie camper. It wasn't really a priority. This year we really wanted to make it a thing because she really, really wanted it. And so we made moves on it. Me and my sister were planning on buying it for her and then my dad said, no, he wants to buy it for her. So this happened around March, around her birthday. When she got it, it was crazy. The guy from UPS brought it like just the box. He didn't even bring it like wrapped or like in a box, in another box. He just brought it in the packaging. Ruined the surprise. She played with it every day. It was with her up and down. She loved that stupid Barbie camper. Months passed, she's playing with it, playing with it, playing with it, playing with it, playing with it. Then it's like around like August, September. And I'm like, I haven't seen that Barbie camper in a minute. I'm like, damn, where'd it go? So me and her in the room and we're just chilling, chilling. I look at her and she look at me. And I'm like, yo, but Valise, Where's your Barbie camper? She look at me, she like, she didn't even blink. Like, she didn't even blink, she was like. And I was like. What happened to your Barbie camper? She looks at me and she like. I'm like, what? She's like, okay, so. What happened was, and if you know my sister, you know she speak like that. Okay, so I was playing outside and like, my friend told me that she like really wanted one, so I like gave her her. I said what? She was like she really wanted it, so I just I just I just gave her her. I just I just gave her her. And I was like, what? Oh my god, this bitch! I said no way. I told her stay right there. Don't move. So I go ooh boom 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 boom. And I go run into the bathroom. That's where my older sister is. She's 23. Vicky, you guys have seen her. 
link in the bio videos for her. Anyways, I run to the bathroom. Boom, 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 boom. It happened like a movie. I was out. Wow, wow, wow. Zoom. And I don't know if it's just like a New York thing or like if like Dominican family thing. Or let me know if your family does it too. We don't care who's in the bathroom. What? I opened the curtains. I'm like, listen. This little bitch did this, that, and second. How do you want to proceed? Vicky goes, very serious, naked. Bring her in. So I zoom back to the room, and Belisa's still there, like. And I'm like, come here now. Let's go. She's like. <sighs> My older sister has, like, this really cute, like, voice, like, very serious, like, very, like, you know, high class. And she's like. Valise, that wasn't cool. Don't do that. You know who got that for you? Your dad got that for you. And he bought it with so much love. And look what you did. You gave it away. And Valise is there like... <sighs> Growing up, I would have never asked for a $100 toy. So the fact that she gave it away so easy like that, it was disappointing to me. Like, damn, like, seriously? And Valise is not... When she's not spoiled like she doesn't get like a whole bunch of bullshit all the time and like people buy her mad stuff like she gets love she's spoiled in love like physical things we never really got that growing up so the fact that she just so easily gave it away was just like why would you do that it's a huge thing too about having less and growing up with less is that when you have it you know that that's special and it meant something so she just giving it away like that wasn't cool in my eyes my nose a little red. As we were going on and on telling Valise, like, why would you do that? Why would you give away something of yours to make somebody else happy? Why would you give away something that brings you so much happiness, something you use every day, something that means so much to you for someone else? Why would you give parts of yourself, things that you like, for someone who probably wouldn't do the same? These were things that we kept telling Valise on and on, like, that meant a lot to you, and you wanted that forever, and you just gave it away. That's what we kept telling her. And in the middle of giving her this big speech about how to not keep giving your stuff to everybody, me and Vicky just looked at each other. Like, literally mid-sentence, just looked at each other and said, hold on. Hold on. We do that all the time. We do that all the time. It's important for us to notice how much we do that. We constantly, me and Vicky, and probably you, everybody, Valise sees me and Vicky give all of our money, all of our effort, all of our time to work, school, to other people. She sees us give stuff away to others so often. She sees us want something really bad and have it really bad and give it away. She constantly sees how we make ourselves feel uncomfortable for someone else. And that's exactly what she did. She sacrificed her Barbie camper to make somebody else happy because, yeah, it made her happy. She was thinking selflessly, and it was a selfless act. She wanted to be able to give that person the happiness that that Barbie camper has given her. That really made Vicky and I take a moment and really step back and look at ourselves. We do it all the time. Especially in 2019, Vicky and I have exhausted ourselves, whether it's going out for other people's birthdays, spending mad money when other people don't. Putting in the most time at our jobs while other people sit down and don't do shit. We give our all in everything we do, even when other people might not do the same. But we do it because that's us. Release didn't care if the person who got her baby camper did the same for her. She didn't care. All she knew was that she wanted to make that person happy. So she gave something to first to make them happy. Even though she knew that that would cost her a little bit of discomfort, that's something that meant a lot to her. She still gave it away. Since that moment that we realized, like, yo, we do the same thing, it really changed the way that I've looked at things, the way that I've done things, the way that I've went about doing things for myself and doing things for others. Because it's true. Sometimes we exhaust ourselves for other people when they might not do the same. We give everything we have for others, and we do it way too often. So this moment has to be probably my favorite in this year because we were telling her like why are you doing that it's gonna make you sad but we do things all the time knowing it's going to make us sad or risking the fact that it might make us sad or might make us uncomfortable we put ourselves in those situations for other people and it goes to show that age has nothing to do with it it's just that's just the way things are
we constantly give our Barbie campers away to other people just to see them happy. Our Barbie campers could be our time, our effort, money. We constantly give away our Barbie campers. We do. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of my video. I hope you guys stuck through this long. If you guys stuck through this whole story, I love you, okay? Okay, literally. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and break the like button and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.